Sophia Cannon, she needs wins like that and a whole lot more, Nick, to start to get some momentum. Of course, she's won a Grand Slam. She's played in another final. You know a little bit about what's going on with her. What, what would you say is happening and is standing in her way right now? Well, I would say, like, I mean, in 2021, she was dropped by top five, her agency that she was working with, and Fila, and the coaching was just kind of she wasn't really sure what to do. But then now in 2022, she's back. She's working with a new agency, GSE. She has her father back on board. And I think for tennis players, you really have to have a short-term memory. Look, there should be no panic for her. She works extremely hard on the court. She's one of the hardest workers I've ever seen out there. So she shouldn't really have any panic. So maybe it's a little bit of a predicament, but now she has her father back, you know, under her wings and, uh, Big things will be happening for her. So you think it's more just the off-the-court things, the obstacles, rather than the actual game? Are you seeing anything game-wise that has changed for her over the last couple of seasons? Uh, not really. I mean, she's going to be one of those that looks to extend the rallies, make a lot of balls, and, and right now that's what she will be doing. It's just getting her legs under, getting some of those pressure moments and in matches, and I think she'll be fine. You know, in the women's game, you can break through quickly. We know that, yeah. so we'll see if she can get a run going in New York.